Hello and good morning. As you can see, I am wearing a top. It's actually a jumpsuit. It's from Revolve and it's so cute. I like just finally took the tags off and I love it because it has like the cinched in part here. It doesn't have pockets and I feel like my instinct is to feel like they have pockets. And then it has like um, the same like tightness around the ankle. Super cute, great for vacation or lounging around the house like today. Um, I'm like out of breath. I'm still so tired from this weekend. As you guys know from my last video, we had, I had dance shows this weekend, or one dance show, but it was like the longest day ever because our call time was like at 10 a.m. and then our show didn't start till like 7 and then we were done by like 11. So it was a very long day to be in a full stage makeup with a mask. That is why I am breaking out heavily. I like barely ever break out on my forehead and the last time I broke out on my forehead like this it was from stress. So I think it has to do with stress because that's where that all pops up. Also if you don't follow me on Instagram you're probably thinking, Michaela, why the hell do you have tattoos? What's happening? Um, these are fake. <laughs> They're from Inkbox. I'm sure you guys have seen their ads. They last like one to two weeks and so we got a bunch and tried them out. I also have one um, behind my ear here, a little Scorpio symbol which just happens to be an M so I don't know, maybe I should actually get that. I have one here, I have some on my fingers, and then I have one, oh, on my back, which hopefully you guys can see a little feather there. And then this one here, I have <laughs> this one, and then I have one on my wrist here, which is a little bit more faded, but so fun, so cool. And again, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen, but I also have a cute little like fake nose ring now to use, and I used it for the show, and it was really fun, because it's obviously very different than what I'm normally looking like, so yeah. Shows went good. I'm so tired still, as you can tell I'm out of breath, but I got myself up this morning, had some coffee, watched Remy's vlog, and then I had a shower, which just felt honestly so amazing. I'm so impressed with how long my hair has gotten. Like, it is growing, and of course, you guys know, I attribute it to Bondi Boost. I've gotten so many people hooked on it. If you need another sign to try it to grow your hair longer and thicker, definitely try it because it's definitely working for me. I love how my plan was to sit down and like do my makeup as I talk, but we know, we both know that that doesn't always work. This primer from Clarence, this Instant Smooth Perfect Touch has been really, really lovely. It's like just kind of like a moisturizer, but a little bit more on the matte side. Slightly silicone-y, but like not too much. And it just like smooths your skin. Feels really nice. Yeah, oh man, I cannot believe how badly I'm breaking out. Like obviously I know the cause and it's definitely warranted, but just sucks. I'm not really sure what's in store this week for us because I feel like my brain is just like all over the place. I do have another show next weekend, so that's kind of where my brain is, but I'm gonna try and vlog and do some stuff. I think today I'm going to do my Zara haul finally because I have been just kind of putting that off and I need to return something. So I wanna do that. I'm gonna do like a reel and a TikTok showing the things I got. All of them are like summer related though, so not exactly in season. So if you wanna see that, definitely check out my Instagram because that will hopefully be up this week. I have a bit of editing for other things to do as well. So that's kind of at the top of my list. Our pantry is an absolute disaster and my um, best friend Olivia is coming this weekend. And like, I know she doesn't care, but like to me, deep down in my soul, I'm like, no one can see the state of this pantry right now. I cannot fathom that. So I'm really hoping because Cody is off this week that we can figure that out because it's driving me nuts and I was totally gonna wait until after our dance shows but I just, I don't know if I can. I really don't because it's really messy. Ooh, I've heard people talk about the new Charlotte Tilbury foundation. This is the um, Airbrush Flawless and I love it. If you guys have tried the new one though, let me know your thoughts because I like have Sephora up and I'm like, should I look into it? Not sure, well, let me know. Okay, but honestly, these tattoos are so fun and I really love the placement of them and like all my dance friends are like, so when are you gonna get a tattoo? And I'm like, I don't know if I have something that's like special enough to think of, you know, to get a tattoo in such a very visible place. I definitely am really vibing with the hand ones. I mean, they are kind of faded and like not the best, but I love the placement of them. And I like the idea of this lightning bolt. I mean, this one's like super duper faded and I like kind of messed up the application process, but like the idea of it is nice. <laughs> I also really like the like inner arm placement too. I don't know. Seems kind of fun. It doesn't seem as scary anymore, if that makes sense. I just always thought that I wouldn't be a tattoo person. Oh, and with the nose piercing, I like FaceTime my mom because she really has never ever wanted me to get a nose piercing. She's always said like, don't get any piercings that are like visible on your face and all that. She's very 
anti that um and so i facetimed her as like a prank and she knew right away pretty well but she was like really you got your nose pierced I'm like no <laughs> but i liked it and it's cool because you can just fake it you don't have to wear a real one and that's why i wear like um whatever this one is i don't remember the piercing but that's why i wear a cuff because like why get it pierced when you can just wear a cuff and then you can switch it out and then it's not permanent and you don't have to worry about your ears when you're sleeping i'm also getting my hair done in a couple weeks and I'm not really sure what to do. I'm still on the growth journey and I want to grow it a little bit longer and just like a little bit more full, but I don't think I'm ready to get rid of the brunette yet. It's been almost a year to the day that I went brunette and so I don't know. I'm still vibing with it. It's still getting like healthy and shiny and like we're still working on the growth of it and so I don't really want to change it up too much. I definitely want to get like a bit of a trim and maybe a little bit of a, a thinning out moment because it's getting very thick on top. But I don't know if I'm ready to change the color yet. I think last time we discussed maybe like adding some blonde into the bottom, but I'm just like, I don't know if I'm ready for that. Cause we're like here, we're vibing with the brunette and I think I might just keep it that way. Cody and I watched Euphoria again last night. It was the third episode and it was really good. And it's so funny, Cody always sets up our like galaxy light that we just got. And he has those lights around the TV that you guys saw. And so he like sets them all to purple when we watch the show. It makes it really fun. and. A very relaxing Sunday. I definitely felt yesterday like we call it a glitter crash post show um, but I felt like hungover and that I was like hit by a truck and I couldn't move like I basically stayed the whole day on the couch and um, yeah it was crazy. I didn't have like anything to drink the night of the show too like afterwards to celebrate. I literally just came home and um, yeah I totally felt hungover. It was crazy just because it was like so much stimulation and so much activity and having a month off is crazy um but anyway back to the shows <laughs> so yeah we watched euphoria it was great and then um this past week how i met your father came out and i love hillary duff so much she's like my number one celebrity if i ever got the chance to meet her i would absolutely die it's so good there was a couple episodes out and so cody and i watched those and i'm very excited for that show to continue and it's kind of good that they didn't release all of it because i totally would have just sat there and watched the entire thing um because i loved it so much but yeah really good if you have the chance to watch it highly recommend i love the original how i met your mother i definitely liked it a little bit more than friends i feel like that's a controversial opinion but yeah i don't know i love that show so much and so i'm very excited that this new one is out i haven't used this blush in a long time but i've been seeing a lot of people talk about rare beauty lately so i'm like i'm gonna pull this one out this is one of their liquid blushes in joy it's definitely more of like a summer color but since i have a tan on i feel like it's okay I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and I'll talk to you guys after I'm done. Okay, I'm basically done my makeup, but I wanted to walk you guys through a couple of the things that I've just been loving lately. So for my eyes, I've been doing half lashes, sometimes here and there. These are the Ardell Wispies, just cut in half. For my lips, I've been obviously loving my Oak lip liner from MAC. I love this color so much. And then this lipstick from Lancome, this is the Drama Matte in 510. I love this color because it's like a cool tone nude, but not too cool tone, if that makes sense. So I've been loving that. I think I'm gonna put a gloss on though. Maybe one of these like Maybelline lifter glosses. Let's do this in number four. This one's a little more pink, but my lips are dry, so I want a little bit of that. And then for my highlight, I've absolutely been loving this. I actually took this off of Britney because she was gonna get rid of it, and I was like, I've never tried that highlighter, and I've heard so many great things. It's the Bomb Cosmetics Mary Luminizer. I know this is like an oldie, but it's so good. I believe it's like 24 bucks, and I've been obsessed with it. It's basically the only highlight I've been using lately, and I like to put it in my inner corner on my brow bone. I've been loving like a lot of highlight lately. I love it on my nose down the bridge of my nose, kind of blend it out. Especially with the freckles and the lashes, I just feel like this is like, I don't know, my go-to look. Okay, that's a lot on my nose, <laughs> let me blend that out. Thoroughly been loving this, it lasts so long, like she has lived with it and then I got it and now it's like, it's barely made it done, it's crazy. And I feel like it goes well with like my tan skin, but it also works on my pale skin because it's not too like warm, but it's not too white if that makes sense i don't know the color of it is just really perfect it's been working really well for me and i've really been enjoying it and i like how visible the highlight is yeah big fan hair has been straightened and then i just sprayed in a little bit of this design me puff me dry texture spray i love this and i'm trying to use it up because i feel like i'm close to the end it's really good it smells nice too um just to add a bit of volume at the top to give it some life and I think I'm ready to film that Zara haul. That's kind of the biggest thing on my 
to-do list today because I've been putting it off. So I think that's what I'm gonna do next. Before I get into filming though, I do need to clean off my dresser here because it's gonna be visible. Extra costume stuff, glue gun, extra bag, mic, all this stuff needs to go in. And then I should show you guys this amazing package that I got from Bath and Body Works. Okay, give me a sec. Oh my God, Cody's doing the recycling and it's so loud. I also picked up a new Cinema Secrets. This is my favorite brush cleaner. I get it on Amazon because all of my makeup brushes are black from this weekend, so I need to do a clean of them. This is the easiest stuff though. Highly recommend, I think this bottle's like 50 bucks, but it's so worth it because you need such a little amount. Um, so that's on my to-do list eventually this week is to clean my brushes, so glad I have that. Okay, I got this adorable PR package from Bath and Body Works and it's Valentine's Day themed as you could probably tell It's so cute and I was so excited when I opened it So they sent over a bunch of their products in the flavors strawberry pound cake scents flavors you get it uh, Strawberry pound cake. It's so sweet, but I love strawberries So they sent all of that plus the candle is in here and then the other scent is a bubbly rose So we have this fragrance mist the lotion and then a candle for that as well They also sent a sparkling rose so so pretty some champagne glasses which i actually don't have champagne glasses and these ones are stunning i already used them i had a mimosa yesterday and they are massive i'll actually insert a picture of that so you can see what they look like here and they're actually by the same brand of my like square wine glasses that i have that are like a crate and barrel dupe i'm pretty sure so yeah big fan of these and then they also sent some macarons which are so cute and they're all like different colors of pink and i'm just like so happy i love valentine's day because i love pink and this was so cute and also this like little picnic basket they sent it in adorable thank you guys so much just gonna have some lunch and i forgot that i made some cold tea last night i say cold tea because normally i would call it sweet tea but i actually completely forgot to add sugar into it so it's literally just cold lipton tea which is like english breakfast and i do even have the tea bags in here so it's probably gonna be pretty strong still but that sounds good as a like little caffeine kick that's not coffee. Pour it up, pour it up. I hope this is good. Might be strong. And then for creamer, I completely forgot to show you guys these in my Target haul because they were in the fridge and I forgot. This is the Silk Dairy Free Oat Creamer in Oatmeal Cookie, which is so good. And then I also found the Starbucks Dairy Free Creamers, which I was so excited about. And we got the Caramel Macchiato. So we've kind of been going back and forth between these two and they're very good. So I'm gonna add a little bit of this to make it a little bit sweeter. A little taste test. That's delicious. Yep, that is exactly what I wanted. And I feel like I can actually taste like the oatmeal cookie flavor better. Mmm, love that. Hello friends, it is a couple days later. I feel like I look weird because I haven't put on my lip product yet. It is Thursday and I'm about to go into a content meeting. It's actually really late in the day. It's almost like 4 p.m. And um, just kind of had a shower, got myself ready. I'm wearing my <laughs> fake nose ring and we're doing some like repotting of some plants or like adding some fresh dirt. Cody worked on like fixing the duvet cover. I like wiped down the kitchen, just kind of like random things. It's really nice out. And so I did a little bit of what felt like spring cleaning, but like not really. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna hop on this meeting and then I got a package in from Abercrombie of some new jeans that I need your guys' opinion on Because of course Cody likes the pair that I like the least or like out of the two if that makes sense So I need to try those on for you guys But yeah, I'm sitting here with my everything but the bagel nut duo as a snack and what's left of our dark chocolate uh, peanut butter cups And then I have a iced chai with the blueberry lavender milk. It's really good blueberry lavender yeah, that's correct. <laughs> I just wrapped up my meeting and I want to add some more feathers to my costume for this weekend and I have like a couple extra pieces so I got my hot glue gun out and um, my little bodysuit with my harness and so I'm going to attach um, some extra feathers here because they're without it. It's looking a, a little sparse and I just want to fill it in just that little bit more. I'm hoping that hot glue works because your girl does not like sewing. I'm doing the thing. I'm gonna wash my brushes. So I have the leftover Cinema Secrets in this bottle that I'll use up. And all I do is put a little bit into a little glass bowl like this, swirl it around, and then take a clean cloth and kind of just rub the brushes off. I'm not gonna film this process because it's kind of boring and tedious, but it gets them really clean. This is not a deep clean. This is just like a spot clean, but I don't have time for them to dry like overnight and stuff. So we're gonna use this stuff. Now that my brush 
brushes are clean, candles lit. Cody is currently making our HelloFresh for the evening and I'm going on to Save on Foods to order our groceries. We have been ordering our groceries online for the past couple months. We just find it to be so much easier versus like going in store. I feel like it seemed like such a chore and I just was starting to hate it. So just being able to order everything online and then pick it up usually the next day, like tomorrow is Friday and we're able to pick it up no problem there's like a bunch of time slots available it just makes life so much easier because you're like sitting at home i can go and check and see what we have available in the fridge and what we're missing obviously we're getting hello fresh right now so we're not making a ton of meals because that has meals for us but it's just like so much easier and i've really been liking it and also if you're trying to like save money and budget and not overspend by impulse buying when you go to the grocery store i find it really helpful so wanted to mention that i'm currently going to add hash browns to our list, I have avocados, eggs, Cody wanted chicken. Okay, so we have a uh, pretzel crisp. I'm getting two boxes of gluten-free Annie's. Muffins are on sale. Blackberries, raspberries, granola, yogurt, chicken thighs, chicken breasts, hash browns, coconut milk, eggs, and avocados. I'll need bacon too. Okay. It's like the same as if you go to the grocery store hungry. I'm just like, now I'm hungry and I wanna like add everything to our cart. Cody made us the glazed beef meatballs, and this is what they look like. It smells so good. Um, HelloFresh, you should sponsor me. Okay, we're gonna eat dinner now. Yay! As I mentioned, I got a couple things in from Abercrombie, and there was like a 20% off sale that was happening, and then there was like another coupon code that you could like stack on top of. I don't know if you guys have been on TikTok and you saw like that time when Abercrombie was letting people stack like every single coupon. That was crazy, missed that. But I was able to stack some coupons and so Cody and I ordered a couple more things. Long story long, first package came and I got two pairs of jeans and one shirt. <laughs> What are you doing? Um, and I want to try them on for you guys so I can get your opinion. But now I have this one. So last night I had to do my entire skincare routine with him in my arms. It was a one hand job. A one hand job. Oh my God. I hate oh. myself. <laughs> Okay, so the first pair are the Curve Love 90s Slim Straight Ultra High Rise, and I'm in a size 29, and they are regular. I don't think I've ever tried the Curve Love jeans from Abercrombie, but your girl's got curves, so it makes a lot of sense that they would fit really well. I do have other jeans from Abercrombie, and they're all really, really lovely. So, okay, let's try on the first pair. Okay, here is the first pair. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it all in frame. But I love how high-waisted these are. I also took off my sweater so you guys can see what they actually look like. I feel like they look really good back here. Um, but it's actually like the bottoms I want to talk about. Let me just put on these slides so you guys can see what they actually look like with shoes on. This is what they look like on the bottom. It has one rip over here. And it's like a regular size length. Regular size length. The regular length for me. But I don't know. I'm not so sure how I feel about just like how they fit on the bottom half of my leg. Obviously I like what's going on up here and back here, but I just, I'm not used to this like in-between pant, if that makes sense. I feel like they're a little too tight here and a little too tight at the bottom, but you guys let me know what you think. Okay, so that's pair number one. And the second pair of jeans are the Curve Love Dad High Rise, also in a 29 regular. And I really like the like fraying on the top here. And these ones are actually like a button fly versus this one that I'm currently wearing is a zipper. All right, so this is the other pair. This is how it fits at the top, which I really love. It's super, super comfy, still very high-waisted. And then for the thighs, it's like a little bit looser still, which is really nice. I guess that's what the Curve Love thing is all about. And then this is what the bottom of the jeans look like. It has two very large holes in the knee, which are not my favorite. I would have probably preferred just a regular pair of pants. And I also don't know if these style, this style of jean makes me look short because that's how I feel when I wear them. Probably the shoes, I don't know. But I like the wash of this denim a lot better than the other one. And I don't know, I just can't tell. I did try them on with these uh, pink heels and definitely a vibe. I mean, I'm not gonna wear pink heels or heels at all <laughs> or like that often, but I feel like it definitely works. Definitely with this length of jean, I feel like the heels are kind of nice because it just kind of sits just nicely on top. And I don't know, you can see the full structure of the jean versus like being bunched up under or like around shoes. 
So yeah, let me know your thoughts. I do think that both are really comfy. I definitely feel like these are a little bit more comfy. I mean, at least with the holes, you can like move your leg, but I'm just really not used to looser jeans, but I feel like they fit really nicely up here enough that I'll probably, I don't know. Cody liked the other ones and I like these ones, but let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And the only other thing that I ordered with this <laughs> order was this plain t-shirt. It's a long sleeve, but it's super, super soft. It is a large and it's supposed to be like quite oversized, um, but it probably, I pictured it a little bit bigger, but it's still really cute. And they did have a bunch of different colors. I just thought this was like a good shirt. Although white is scary with makeup and tanner, you know, you have to be really careful, but. And it's also a little bit on the see-through side. I thought it'd be a little bit thicker, but I kind of like how it's on the thinner side. I don't know, just kind of comfy. Wear leggings, wear necklaces, wear to sleep. Who knows? I just liked it. I am getting so sleepy, but I have one more thing I wanted to do today, and that was put away my laundry because I have about two weeks worth of laundry to put away. And it's just like piling up, and Cody put his away, and I just like, you know, something that needs to be done, but I'm, like I said, getting very sleepy. It's only like 9 p.m. too, so. I'm gonna put on my headphones and listen to some music to get it done because I feel like that's a good motivator. I also need to wash my face, take these lashes off, take this out. It's been really fun to wear it today though. Maybe I'll take it out now. There we go, just a, a nice little fake nose ring. Someone DM me asking if it was real. I said, no, it's fake. Shh. <laughs> it's just really nice to have the option though. I feel like obviously I like the look of it when I'm wearing like a full face of makeup like this, but we love options. Okay, stop procrastinating and go put away your laundry. That's what I'm gonna do. As you can see the pile, obviously the whole basket is full, but also everything on top is like what was hanging to dry. I don't wanna do this. <laughs> Happy Friday, everyone. Cody always doesn't like my hats, but I mean, he is the one that's in here wearing it, so. I was actually coming on here to end this week's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. And let me know your thoughts on those jeans in the comments down below because I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you guys in next week's video. Bye!